Now I'm counting and identifying the different organisms that, that are on the lake and that's a time consuming job. So here we have the light sources and here we have two cameras with magnification lenses and a computer controlling the two cameras. The water is freely moving in and out in front of the magnification lenses and the computer takes a frame every second during day and night and we capture objects in the frames that correspond to plankton species. Um, this um, website is where we publish in real time the images from the underwater camera in Greifensee. This is the low magnification camera images and you can see for example the water flea Daphnia or different type of copepods, different species. And one thing that we can already start noticing is that in many instances we can image individual copepods that have other organisms growing on their body. This type of species interactions are generally lost when we sample with traditional methods for plankton. Accidentally, sometimes we also image some fish, and in this case we have a beautiful parasite attached to the tail of this very small fish. We are pretty happy that we can follow the dynamics of different species, a large number of them, which was impossible with previous automated monitoring systems. And we also see a number of organisms that we still don't know what they are.